good morning uh, students and welcome you all to the lesson number 2 of the unit number 1 introduction of the course blockchain and uh, cryptocurrencies so let us see what we discuss in yesterday's lesson first and then we'll continue with the lesson number 2 so yesterday in lesson 1 we discussed the introduction about the blockchain okay what is blockchain then uh, growth of the blockchain technology how the blockchain technology progress so far from 2013 to 2025 then we discuss very core concept of the blockchain that is the distributed system okay then what are the different components of the distributed system what is node what are the links how distributed nodes communicating with each other how they are working together to achieve the common goal that part we discuss and then last part we discuss what are the components of the black blockchain technology because blockchain technology is made up of the different uh, technical concepts together and it becomes the blockchain technology and a very important uh, understanding is the bitcoin we discuss very primary introduction of the bitcoin it is one of the first application which is developed be, okay be developed on the using the blockchain technology so now we'll discuss uh, the next part of this in a lesson number 2 today and we'll try to understand what is the blockchain means actually what is the actual technical definition uh, of that particular blockchain in this today's uh, video <coughs> now let us uh, see what is the blockchain means layman's let us first try to understand what is the layman's definition okay and then we'll go for the technical definition and as a part of this particular uh, co video we'll discuss each and every term which is mentioned in the technical definition of the blockchain now let us start with the layman's definition here the blockchain is an ever growing secure shared record keeping system in which each user of the data holds a copy of the record which can only be updated if all parties involved in a transaction agree to update it means what blockchain is a distributed ledger where we can store the data here we are calling this data as a transaction okay transaction that you can call the transaction as a data or the information which is now uh, stored in a distributed ledger okay and the distributed ledger is called as a blockchain so each and every block as the word says block of chain of blocks so each and every block from that particular blockchain holds the transaction holds the data or holds the information and very important understanding of this is the record the transaction which is being initiated by the node any of the node in that particular uh, blockchain network will be confirmed and recorded in a block when all the nodes when all the nodes in that particular blockchain networks are agreed on that particular transaction then and then only that record is that that particular transaction is recorded confirmed and updated in the blockchain okay so what what we have understood from this definition it is a distributed ledger technology where we are storing the data or the transaction in the blocks and these blocks are connected together to form a chain and it becomes your blockchain so this is what the simple understanding of the blockchain if you are not the technical person so this particular uh, definition will help you to understand this particular blockchain now let us go ahead and see what is the technical uh, definition of this particular blockchain now here blockchain is a peer to peer distributed ledger that is cryptographically secure append only immutable and updatable only via consensus or agreement among the peers okay so each and every word which is or the term which is mentioned in this technical definition is very 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 important because this particular definition gives you 
the complete idea about the blockchain technology okay everything is covered in this technical definition and as a part of this particular course uh, uh, sorry video we are going to discuss each and every term which is mentioned this particular technical definition okay so let us read this particular technical definition again for you blockchain is a peer to peer distributed ledger that is cryptographically secure append only immutable and updatable only via consensus or agreement among the peer now let us start <coughs> with the uh, terms now here <coughs> We, I have mentioned here the, the different terms from the technical definition and we are going to discuss this and now here you can see on the side of that particular points you can see a, a block diagram you can say of the blockchain. Now because since last uh, lesson 1 and now this is lesson 2 we are simply discussing about the blockchain, blockchain, blockchain but what what is blockchain and how it look like. So now here you can see in green colors we have shown you the blocks. Okay, this is the logical representation of the blockchain. Huh? <coughs> so, this is how the blocks are there, which are mentioned in like a uh, mention there, which are connected via chain. Now, you can see the chain there also block n minus 1, block n, then block n plus 1. So, such kind of blocks are connected together. And what kind of information is stored in that particular block is also mentioned in that. So, that part also we will discuss later. But before that, we will try to understand what is the uh, technical terms which are mentioned in this particular blockchain uh, definition. Okay, So, now everybody can see whenever I say it is a blockchain, you must visualize this kind of a diagram. Different blocks are there, all these blocks are connected together and all these blocks are storing the data or the information which is referred as a transaction, which is referred as a transaction. Okay, So, whenever we are uh, discussing about the transaction data or the information which is stored in this particular blockchain okay so now everybody has now understood what is the blockchain and how it will look like now let us uh, start with the first one peer to peer system now <coughs> here what is the peer to peer system in peer to peer system it means there is a no central controller like a administrator system administrator in a network each and every node in that particular blockchain network or the blockchain network is capable of sending and receiving the messages with each other means there is no any intermediary involved like server or any system administrator is not involved in this kind of a network so all the nodes which are part of that particular blockchain network can communicate without any intermediaries with each other and able to send and receive the information that's why it is a peer to peer blockchain is a network is a peer to peer network next is what distributed ledger now next one, next one is what now it is a distributed ledger now what i said distributed ledger what we discuss now distributed ledger distributed ledger where we are storing all the transactions means all the data all the information we are storing uh, in a distributed ledger. So, actually the distributed ledger has a has the different blocks, okay. It consists of different blocks which are connected via chain, okay. And all the, tran all the data and information is stored in that particular distributed ledger. Important is when we write the transaction, when we record the transaction into the distributed ledger and when it is confirmed, and update it via the consensus algorithm we, we are going to discuss that then no one is going to modify that particular transaction okay and that is what the key feature of the blockchain technology once the transaction is recorded you cannot means it is impossible to modify that particular transaction okay now next one is what cryptographically secure cryptographically secure cryptographically secure means we are using the concept of symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption cryptography from the information security here to secure 
all the transactions okay which are recorded in the blocks means whenever we are going for the cryptography it ensures non repudiation okay then data origin authentication data integrity okay data integrity that is ensured by this cryptographically uh, secure uh, techniques like symmetric and asymmetric encryption and that's why we are calling it as a blockchain <coughs> network is a secure network all the data which is stored in that particular blockchain network in the form of blocks is a secure next one is what append only append only it means what whenever the new transaction is created whenever new transaction is created means like uh, this transaction n number of transactions are created in a blockchain network all the transactions are recorded all the transactions are recorded but the transaction on which cons each and every node is agreed is confirmed and recorded in a block and that block is added at the end of the block means that block is added into that particular chain this happens only when all the nodes in that particular networks are network are agreed on that particular transaction then and then only that block, no, particular block will be uh, block is added at the end okay now next one is what updatable via consensus what i said new transaction is created which is initiated by any of the node in that in that particular blockchain network now that that transaction needs to be confirmed that transaction needs to be recorded and updated in a blockchain but you have initiated a transaction it doesn't mean that transaction uh, needs to be recorded and confirmed it is based upon the consensus algorithm now you can see here the consensus word consensus algorithm okay <coughs> which is executed where all the nodes in that particular network network are involved and if all the nodes in that particular network in that particular network are agreed upon this particular transaction then and then only the transaction is confirmed and the blocks block is appended in that particular blockchain okay so this is very 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 important uh, concepts blockchain definition because if you understand all these ter particular terms then you can understand the complete blockchain okay now let me show you one diagram again here now what we said updatable via consensus now here you can see the internet now at the bottom you can see the internet that is our global internet on the top of this internet there is a peer to peer network there is a peer to peer network that uh, that we discuss now peer to peer network where all the nodes can communicate with each other without any uh, need of intermediary administrator or the controller peer to peer network and on this peer to peer network this blockchain networks works so now here you can see rounded rectangle where you can see transaction blocks consensus state machine and blockchain application all these components are combined together logically in a block okay and that 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 entire logical block defines your blockchain it consists of transaction it consists of blocks consensus state machines and blockchain applications also so all together all these logical components uh, uh, are representing the blockchain or the block okay blockchain so now and after that you can see users and nodes okay which are interacting with this particular blockchain network so that may be users or that may be other nodes in that particular network who are uh, the, who are con uh, uh, communicating with this particular blockchain network okay so this is uh, all about the definition of the blockchain uh, blockchain technical definition layman de uh, definition so we discussed thoroughly uh, you people also go through this definition even it is a very simple please try to understand the meaning of each and every word which is uh, mentioned in that particular uh, technical definition and the layman definition of the blockchain okay so again uh, we'll meet uh, with the next concept of this blockchain in the uh, next session so thank you